With the merger of American and U.S. Airways, the flight to Washington, D.C. from SRQ may be in jeopardy. And today, Congressman Vern Buchanan got in the fight. U.S. Congressman Vern Buchanan is a regular passenger on the U.S. Airways flight to Washington, D.C. at Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. But the future of the nonstop service to and from the nation's capital remains uncertain after a merger between American and U.S. Airways. We also know that there's 52 slots that they're going to have to give up, take off and landing slots in D.C., so that's a big issue. So Buchanan is lobbying to keep the SRQ flight to Washington Reagan International Airport, one that has among the highest average passenger loads. I have written personally to the to the chairman of uh, uh, American Airlines and U.S. Air, the Transportation Committee, uh, as well as the regulators in Washington. SRQ passengers are hoping the latest merger will not mean less flights. I typically fly through this airport um, into either D.C. or through Charlotte, so taking away that would be removing an option for me, so it makes less flights available. SRQ is still trying to make up the passengers lost in 2012 when Southwest merged with AirTran and ended service at the airport. This flight is very important to us, or all flights are, but this flight is particularly important because it hooks us directly to the nation's capital. We really appreciate his efforts on our behalf and, and hope he's wildly successful. Buchanan says he's optimistic the carrier will keep the flight here. We're going to fight to keep this flight. It's critically, critically important to this community. And airport CEO Rick Piccolo is out of town right now, but when he gets back, he's expected to meet with officials at U.S. Airways fighting to keep this flight. Reporting at SRQ, Grant Boxleitner, SNN Local News.